it so far. My friend, good race. We're not in everything, you can use shortcut. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Gels Tech Ed, Geniusly Educating Lads. I'm Mr. Philly, and here we have today with us the winner. Welcome to another episode of CMTT, Changing Minds Through Technology, and I'm your host, Richard. So even though the shortcut couldn't work on the field, I'm sure it would work here on the computer system. Okay, Mr. Philly, as you mentioned the word shortcut, how about you read us a definition? A special key combination that causes a specific command to be executed? Typically, shortcut keys combine the control or alt keys with some other keys. Wonderful. The first shortcut we'll look at today, I will simply press the control and A button on my keyboard and see what happens. Now, if you look at the text area, you notice that the background is now highlighted. If you have 1, 10, or 100 pages, all content on each page will be highlighted when you press the control and A button. Now, how about if we want to copy something? Mr. Philly. Okay, so the copy shortcut is quite unique. If you want to make a duplicate of a text, first we have to select it. So the only thing that we're going to do is to press control C. And how do we know if this is copied? Now, instead of coming to insert and clicking on a blank page, we're going to simply click control enter. And this will give us a new page. Now, how we're going to paste what we've copied? Simply by pressing control V. And there you have it. Let's check and see if we have duplicated the text. There you go. Now, Mr. Richards, what about cutting a text? Okay, Mr. Philip. Now, the cut function is another function that we can use in a document. However, it's different from the copy. When you copy something, you make a duplicate. However, when you cut something, you remove it entirely. Let's say we want to remove the first sentence from our first page and put it on our second page. We simply highlight the first sentence. Now that our sentence is highlighted, we use the shortcut keys Control and X. If you notice, the text is now disappeared. Now what happens? The text is not deleted, it's not gone. But however, if we want to paste our text, we use the same keys used earlier to paste. So we'll scroll to our second page, we'll select where we want to paste our text, and we press Control V. There, our text has now reappeared. Let's check our first page. The first sentence is missing and the first sentence is now placed on our second page. Now, Mr. Philly, how about if I want to undo this? Now, the undo shortcut is a very amazing shortcut. Now, what if our work is deleted just like this? Now, the power of the undo shortcut is quite unique. The only thing we're going to do is to press Ctrl Z. Wow, look at that. All of our work is back. Wonderful. Now you know if you're using the Microsoft Word and you mistakenly delete something, you can use the shortcut to retrieve it. And that's the Ctrl and Z. Now, we've reached the end of shortcut um, lesson for today. But how about we want to just opt out of a program without going through procedures? There's a shortcut in which you can do this. The simple shortcut you can use is Alt and F4 function. So you can press the ALT button and the F4 button on your keyboard and this will close your document and you can opt out. Hey my friend, what's going on? 
Hey, I'm here working on my shortcuts. Long time I haven't seen you. I'm here developing my shortcut skills. Shortcuts again? Yes! Last time that happened worked, you know. Hey, this one I know it works. Alright, let's see what's going on. Here we go. So you see all of this right here? Yes. I'm going to copy it. Watch me. All right at once? Yes. Control C copy. Then I go over to the next page. Lampy, do you see all of that? Mm -hmm. I'm a magician. Watch me. Control V. Interesting. Well, I'm telling you, this is something I can really run with. All right, man. See you again. No problem, bro. Please remember, guys, like, subscribe, and share.